Yo, what's good? It's Soul Entertainment TV, uh, and we are back with another Dead Frontier video. This is going to be a hardcore video. I have uh, been recording a lot of these lately, just because I've been given so many great ideas. Let me move some of that uh, paper out of the way. Just bills and stuff like that. You know, adult things. Uh, <laughs> kill me. Um, anyway, so this is what we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to be doing boss fights. A lot of them, because I have a couple of... Um, of things I want to do, so we just have to go straight up from here. I wanna, I wanna get a, a new gun is what I want to do. Um, not sure if it's gonna be another submachine gun or if it's gonna be a pistol. Uh, just something that takes nine millimeter bullets. I was thinking about a PP90 because it does, uh, it does a little bit more damage than the, than the gun I have right now. But I'm not sure yet. I might just save up money and head down to Precinct 13, y'all. And um, get a really good gun from down there. Like a Chicago typewriter or something. Uh, I can't afford the Chicago typewriter because they're absolutely blown out of the water due to the event that went on. But, you know, something like a Chicago typewriter. Um, real quick, I want to uh, I want to address this on this account just be just so the way you know nobody can see the message or anything like that because I don't know this person personally um, and I don't know how comfortable he or she is with uh, you know having their name put out there. But um, I was in the wasteland recently and a member of the Scarlet Sentinels, uh, which is uh, for those of you who don't know, a very very uh, good guild clan um in the game very very competitive they're they're always like on they're always on the the top 100 uh clan list and and whatnot so very very uh competitive clan um i i i wouldn't say i met him there uh, uh i was in the wasteland grinding and he thought, I guess he thought, uh, I was a member of a rival clan. Which, by the way, what the fuck, we're in, like, rival territory? This is, like, fucking the Crips versus the Blood type shit? Like, kings and shit? I didn't know they had gangs in fucking, <laughs> in Dead Frontier, you know? Like, real life fucking gang shit. Like, yeah, fuck the, fuck the goddamn... EBDR, or whoever he said it was. It was like, I thought you were a member of the EBDR, I think. Uh, some clan like that. Or EDBR, something like that. Um, and he he did lay into me in the wasteland. Um, pretty hard. Almost killed me. Uh, but he didn't. And, and, and we wound up going out of the wasteland. And we kind of chatted for a second. And then I went back to the outpost. Uh, and, and he wound up, he wound up messaging me probably fucking 25, 30 minutes later. He was like, oh man, he's like, I didn't know it was you, you know, I'm a huge fan of your channel. I was in the last two giveaways, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he's like, I'm sorry. I, he said, I thought you were a, a part of, of a, a rival clan and I had to kill you. Uh, but he said he didn't take time to read the name, which... I mean, is understandable because my my name in the game is Death from Above. Uh, it doesn't show up as Soul Entertainment TV, so I'm assuming he he looked up my name afterwards, uh, or he was already friends with me or something like that. Somehow he knew my 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 in game name and uh, you know said he was a, a huge fan of my channel. And I don't know I don't know if that's the truth. You know, dude could have just been you know claiming he was he was a fan of my channel. But uh, he had to have at least looked at the channel to know that I did giveaways and, and whatnot. So, I mean, if he looked at it, then that's another potential subscriber. You know, whatever it is, uh, dude was really cool. And if he's watching this video, don't worry about it. It's, uh, you know who you are. Uh, there's not too many members. I'm, I'm assuming there's not too many members of the Scarlet Sentinels that watch my fucking, my videos. Because why would you want to watch this stooge play the fucking game when you're... You know, level 325 with a Wraith Cannon and fucking, you know, the X-Grand fucking Snipe Rifle, you know, you're a lot better than I am. <laughs> but, um, you know, he, he said he was a huge fan, so that's cool. You know, if you're watching, don't worry about it. It's all good. Um, I was a little taken aback, though, at, at the moment when it was happening, because it... it 
you know, you don't normally get attacked in, um, in the wasteland. So I, I seen this guy who was fucking way quicker than I was, had a Wraith cannon and an X-Grand, and he was fucking shooting me, and I was like, well, shit, now I just, what do I do, just lay down and die, or do I try to get the fuck out of here? Because I'm not fighting this fucking guy, because he's already pretty much killed me. So, uh, you know, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Not a, not a huge deal. Um, cool to know that you at least know of the channel now. Uh, and I hope you're watching. Good luck in the wasteland. Not that you need it, because uh, you're obviously uh, a pro player, uh, 325. So, uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing in the wasteland. Maybe you have an objective, and I hope you reach that objective. Uh, I was trying to get a uh, fucking dust shot, but I don't know if it's going to happen, because, I, I, you know, like I said, I want to record this, and fucking, you know... It, I need 25 million some odd experience to f to get to uh, Dust Shot, which I just don't have right now. So, did you want to help out here, or are you just gonna you gonna stand there? No, no, it's cool. You don't have to help out. Um, oh yeah, there you go, my dude. Yeah, yeah, get in on this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get in on this, man. You you keep doing them them circles. They're really helping your case. Um, I wonder if he's I wonder if he's cheating, or if he just got hit twice and just survived it like a fucking beast. He does look like he has decent armor on. Um, but I don't know anybody to have decent armor and just still be fucking looting around here like it ain't nothing. Uh, but yeah, shout out to him. Super cool. Uh. Because I, I, you know, I know the Scarlet Sentinels are, are, like, a really serious group. And I didn't think any of them would be watching my stooge-ass fucking play Dead Frontier. Uh, but, hey, I mean, I guess you get you get used... You get so used to playing as a pro player for so long. You gotta have a little bit of fucking... <laughs> a stoogeness in your, in your life, I guess. And that's me. That's what I'm here for. I'm just here to fuck around, man. No pro gameplay over here. I can guarantee that. See, I... Fucking called it, man. When I came down here, I was like, I'm gonna get a fucking Masini. It's exactly what I'm gonna fucking get. Damn it. You know what? I'm gonna give it one more go. Uh, I wanna level up, though. Maybe we'll go looting a little bit. Uh, cause I have to wait for the boss to respawn. You know, I have to wait for, uh, the boss cycle anyway. And it's probably gonna take him another 15, 20 minutes. Um. Damn. I might, I might just have to go back up to, uh, to Dog Stockade, which is fine, because I, I have a gun I want to get up there anyway, and it's actually cheaper at Dog Stockade than it is, uh, where I'm at currently. But it might take me a minute to level up. I need 28,000, I think. And I was at, I was at some fucking shit, 20... 1,000 or some shit like that, 22,000 when I left, so I was at roughly 70-ish percent, um, so hopefully it doesn't take that too long, but I doubt I'm gonna get anything good, I was actually, uh, looting the Precinct 13 area while I was trying to, you know, while I was on my way to the wasteland to, to go level up, and, um, I found a Kevlar vest, and I've been thinking about selling it to myself, which, as you guys know, it is okay for you and myself to sell me things as long as they are next to full price because obviously if you were to find something like an iron sight and you were to put it in the uh in the marketplace and it wasn't if it was like non-mastercraft or whatever you would try to normally put it below the other you know whichever one is the cheapest just so the way yours can sell uh, but not much more below it, which is pretty much the same way you would do with me. Um, but instead of me having to find it in the marketplace, you can send it to me personally to make sure that I get it for, you know, a majority of what it actually costs. So, I don't know, what, I don't know how much a Kevlar vest is, but... Uh, I don't even really need it. Uh, I have my, my flak jacket.
killing them with those thirty-seven dollars, man. Really, really doing work. Oh, come here. Come here, nerd, fucking nerd. I might go. Well, I don't even know if he'll spawn. I want to go like two up because I know that there's another boss there. At least like, that's what it looked like on the map. But I don't even know if he'll spawn. Uh, not to loot him because I know I won't be able to loot him for sure. But I could get uh experience from him, so that way I could level up and 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 try to get a better gun. Currently working with. Machine guns and pistols, which isn't so bad, but it is bad at the same time because pistols are motherfucking expensive. It's gonna get a Luger, um, but I, 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 it was like two grand at Dog Stockade, which isn't too bad, but you know, and it takes nine millimeter, which I obviously stacked up on before the fucking end of the last video because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get. Uh, a gun that takes 9mm, I might as well stack up on it while I can get it for 200 fucking bucks for 800 bullets. Um, as far as I know, I still don't know what the event is for this weekend. It's almost Friday. Uh, I mean, they don't usually uh, put the event out until Friday anyway. But, you know, I, I still don't know what the event is. I'm, I, like I said, I'm hoping it's something nasty. Something disgusting, boy. It's just so that way I can absolutely take over. Because uh, I'm working Saturday, but I'm not working that long. And I'm going to fucking grind the shit out of it. I'm telling you, if there is, you know, if there's good events this weekend, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to do a two-hour episode. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two-hour episodes. Everybody's going to be like, what the fuck, man? It's such a long episode. I can't watch the whole thing, but I want to see the whole series. Okay, so I'll tell you what you do. Watch the whole fucking thing. <laughs> I mean, if you want to watch the whole series, whether or not I upload a two-hour video or four 30-minute videos, you're still going to be watching the same thing just in 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 half an hour increments and and if you can't watch this the, the you know if you can't watch the whole thing at one time just watch it half an hour or whatever you can watch and then move on and then come back you know uh cuz it's just going to be the same fucking thing whether or not I I upload them in half an hour increments or the 2 hour fucking thing um cuz I I'm I'm going to take advantage of that fucking that's that uh if it's a good uh event I'm going to take advantage of it but you know, I can't record, you know, 30 fucking half-hour videos and then have those to upload for the next, like, month. Because, you know, y'all are going to be watching, like, a month later and be like, this is the same fucking event <laughs> from a month ago. You know, there's nothing new. So, that's just how that's going to have to work out. Unfortunately... But uh, I like recording long episodes anyway. I get to mumble and jumbo about nothing. And then uh, just fucking play the game. That's what I like to do. Sit down and play the game. Because I don't have anything to do uh, at the moment. I was thinking about uh, donating my time to a shelter. Uh, because for the next month or so, I will have a very like relaxed... Uh, work schedule uh, because of tax season for the company and they need to cut hours for stores and whatnot and blah 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 blah, blah whatever uh, but I'm going to have a very very relaxed work schedule and I was thinking maybe I could donate some of my time to a homeless shelter or you know fucking a dog sh a dog shelter preferably a dog shelter but an animal shelter is fine <laughs> um but, I don't know, it, it, it seems a lot harder than, because, like, when, you know, living in Philly and, and around that area, um, it was kind of easy, there was a fucking, there was an animal shelter on every corner, like, you know, or a homeless shelter fucking somewhere. Uh, living out here in, 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 in fucking bumfuck nowhere, yeah, it doesn't really work the same way. Keep finding all these plasters. Super cool. I'm just going up now. I'm just going up. 
because I know I, I know I said I was gonna give it a second go, but I'm I'm, I'm not going to uh, just because I don't want to waste the ammunition. I'll just I'll take on the fucking boss uh, in the in the area. Uh, the slightly harder areas. I mean, I have the fucking... The uh, the armor to do it. I have the health. I haven't gotten hit. Um, I think that's what I'm more or less scared of. I'm more or less scared of getting hit. Because I'm afraid that since I haven't gotten hit in so long... If I get hit, I'm going to start to panic. <laughs> like, oh no, things are crumbling beneath me. Uh, and then I'll fucking... I'll fuck it up somehow and just fail. Um, but... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, flak jacket with the fucking, you know, with with the 60 health that I have. If things go wrong, I can just dip. But I have other armor that I can use. Uh, so I'm going to stick around that area just so I can find more things like flak jackets. Things that are worth it, uh, necessarily. Not fucking Messinis, because I can, I can scrap that for about a hundred bucks. Uh... Oh, man, I really don't want to have to use this on you guys, but... Fuck it, if I don't have no more ammo... Do what I gotta do. Yeah, so... That's what I've been thinking about doing. It's just not... I can't fucking... I can't find a place to do it. I figured there would be something online, but... Uh... Not really? So, oh, well, why don't you just get a second job? Because by the time I even get a second job... My fucking work schedule will, will, will be back to normal, you know? Or at least somewhat normal. I don't know how they're going to work out our hours, but... Essentially, what happened was, you know, tax season, they had to cut hours for stores, and I'm considered a part-time employee. Uh, that's just... The position that I am in uh, calls for part-time uh, assistance. Even though I work 40-plus hours a week... I am considered part-time. Uh, unfortunately, that's just how it worked out. Um, kind of bullshit, but you know I'm not going to stress the issue because I need the job at the moment. Um, but, what is that guy's name? Clown Honk? I thought it said Clown Dong, and I was like, bro, get your Clown Dong out of my face. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to stress the issue that much, you know. If I get a different position, then I'll, I'll be put to full time. I just don't understand. Yeah, I work uh, the most out of just about everybody in there. Usually I'm working 40 plus hours a week. Everybody else is working kind of 30. Because um, I like to work, you know. Might as well be working than fucking sit down, I guess. Oh, Beta Tomcat. Cool. Sick. Sick. Capiche? Uh. I just don't understand why... I, 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 and I went to work today. Four days I was off. Uh, three or four days. And... I went to work and, and one of the one of my, my co-workers was like, Oh, long time no fucking see. And I was like, yeah, you're telling me. Uh, you know, and she explained to me what had happened. And she, she was pissed off for me. Because, you know, I, I do come to work and I do work. I'm not like most of the other people. They come to work and they fucking sit down and... Well, they don't sit down because where we work, we don't really have chairs except in the break room. Unless somebody catch your ass in the break room, but they don't they don't work. You know, they walk around and they kind of look at things or, or they work very slowly. Um, I'm, I'm not that kind of person, uh, you know, so she was pissed off because she was like, you know, when, when you take hours away from somebody like yourself who actually works, it makes you want to go and find another job and leave this place. And I looked at her and I was like, yeah, pretty much, you know, that was definitely on the table. As soon as I, I found out I was only getting two days, uh, you know, my first thought was, damn, I'm going to have to get another fucking job. And then, you know, so she was pissed off for me, and, and it, it was a it was a whole thing. I mean, it, it wasn't like, you know, nobody was yelling or nothing, but, you know, I just kind of, it kind of became a thing because, you know, she doesn't want me to quit. Uh, and, and, you know, and I understand, but, you know, 
it, it, in a month, the hours are supposed to go back to normal, which is fine. I can survive a month. Um, but, uh, you know, if they don't go back to normal, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have problems. I told my manager, as long as I got 20 hours a week, you know, I, I, it's not optimal for me because that's not me. I, you know, I would rather be working than not working. You know, it's, uh, uh, so, you know, it, I, I would rather work a full-time job, 40 hours a week, but, uh, oh, hey, what's cooking, good looking? Do you know how to type? I'll tell you how to type. Press tab to type. <laughs> Saw my dude. Saw dude. Bro, that's so old. Saw dude. Not much. Just admiring that ass. <laughs> Did your mother give you those hips, big boy? Uh, yeah, uh, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, I'd rather work 40 hours a week, but, you know, as long as I can get 20, I can fucking survive and pay the bills. Uh, <laughs> thank you, no problem. No problem saying, oh, I just got a, uh, notification from Discord, I believe that's what that sound was. Uh, I do have a Discord, I do link it in... Some of my Dead Frontier videos. I don't remember to do it all the time. Uh, because usually I'm copying and pasting other things. And I have to copy and paste the Discord link. You know, every fucking time I want to put it in the thing. And I kind of forget most of the time. Uh, we're just going to go back up to Dog Stockade. And, 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 and wait for another boss. Um, and I guess I'll just keep telling my story of fucking the awful conditions at my workplace. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, as long as I can get them 20 hours a week, I can pay the bills and, and, and at least know that, you know, I can, I can fucking pay the bills, uh, but 10 hours, two fucking days, it's just not, not cutting it. So hopefully that changes, uh, because, you know, I, I like to, to, to buy things and like, well, I don't like to buy things. Um, normally I, I tend to save my money, but then I have to shell out large sums of money very quickly, uh, for fucking miscellaneous things that I, I, I never see that money back for, but, you know, it is what it is. I sound like a fucking, like a drug dealer. I like to shell out large mon sums of money to get more drugs, to make more money, to sell more drugs. Uh, no, basically, I'll, I'll save my money and, and, and I'll have to wind up fucking shelling out $1,400 for, like, a, a, a fucking new transmission for a car or something like that, you know, so, it, it, I don't even know why I save money, to be honest, I just spend my money on things that make me happy, but, no, I save it and then spend it on other people, uh, you know, person that lives next to me got their fucking car towed and I gave them $500 to get it back and I uh, gave my mother $300 for new tires, $800 for to get her cat's foot fixed uh, you know other other shit like that and I don't, I'm like I'm not rich by, by, by any standards I'm just very good with money um, you know, if I can get it and I can keep it, then I'm going to keep it. You know, I'm not going to spend it on, on all kinds of things. Um, but it just winds up blowing the fuck up on me and never really get to spend it on myself. So, I mean, like, even, even when I have the money to do something I want to do, I'm usually doing things for other people anyway. Like, the credit giveaways. Uh, you know, they cost money. A thousand credits is like... 35 40 bucks something like that which doesn't seem like a lot of money but uh when you're working fucking 10 hours a week i'm not gonna get mad i'm not gonna get mad 
Because, I mean, it doesn't piss me off that much. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm not happy about it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm usually always doing something for somebody else. I, I, I guess I should probably learn to do things for myself. That's what people tell me. Learn how to do something for yourself. And I was like, I do do things for myself. I do things like eat and shower and sleep and work out and try and take care of my body. But I, I don't have anything that I really want money-wise. I guess you could say I'm not like a materialistic person. Like, what do you, people ask me? What do you want for Christmas? Nothing. And I'm and I'm saying that legitimately. I'm not fucking saying that just to, you know, be mysterious. No, I want nothing for Christmas, because the way I see it is is you know I would rather you save your money, and buy yourself something with that money. That would that's what I want. I guess I should start telling people that. I want you to save your money, buy yourself something with the money you were gonna fucking use to buy me something. Buy yourself something. Uh, because I don't need anything. I don't want anything. Uh, it's not gonna make me happy. Materialistic things don't make me happy. You know, video games. Uh, you know, getting a new video game is gonna make me happy. Fucking, you know, shit like that's not gonna make me happy. Um, so, you know, I'm not that kind of person. I don't know. I don't know what that says about me. Maybe I'm a pushover. Uh, in a sense, I guess. Uh, I just, I just consider myself, myself. You know, says, oh, you're some people. You're a really nice guy, man. I guess. Uh, I don't consider myself. It's like people who 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 save a life. Yeah, you know, and I'm not comparing myself to to people who who save lives, but uh, you know, people who do save lives. You know, people's like, oh man, you're a hero, and they go, and they either go. No, it's just my job. Or they go, or, or if it's like some random person on the street, they're like, no, I'm not a hero. I'm just a guy, man. Which, by the way, is the most badass fucking response ever. No, I'm not a hero, man. I'm just a guy. Like, that, that, the, the level of just, like, it, <laughs> what the fuck is the opposite of, like, narcissistic? Uh, I can't, I can't fucking think of it. Somebody's already fucking putting in the comments. The opposite of narcissistic. Come on. Produce. Produce. Uh, humbleness. Like, like, like the level of humbleness that comes with that statement is like just badass in and of itself. No, I saved a, I saved a hundred fucking lives, but I'm not a hero, man. I'm just a man. I'm just a man, that's it. Uh, but but that's the way I see it, you know. I give things away and I do things for people, but I'm not a... I mean, it, society would consider me a nice guy, but... I consider myself just a guy. Uh, but with all of that aside... Do I have anything else to ramble on about? Boy, man, I got a lot that I could fucking ramble on about. There's a lot of random, useless shit that doesn't pertain to anything. Like, you know, in the, you know, spectrum of, like, gaming and, and, and Dead Frontier especially. Because <laughs> most of the things I fucking ramble about aren't about Dead Frontier. Um, let's see if I can think about something uh, for Dead Frontier real quick. Uh... Oh, yeah, I, I, I got a awesome idea from a fan on Discord. Um, I was doing the Wasteland grinding as well as the story time. Uh, you know, Wasteland grinding and looting plus the story time. Uh, but one of you recommended that I do the story time on my road to 325. Because I have such a long way to go... It just seemed like the best option. And uh, I thought that was a great idea. Uh, because I, I do have plenty of stories to tell. And, um, you know, well, I mean, I guess I kind of have plenty of stories to tell. It depends on the topic, I guess. 
Because, like, I definitely haven't been through fucking, like... Oh, that was almost it. That, that was almost my first hit right there. I almost got spit on. It was almost my first fucking hit. Um... I don't, I don't know, you know, I haven't been, like, in a fucking Titanic situation or, like, a fucking school shooting or anything, um, but I guess I, 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 I kind of have a couple of stories about certain things, and then I could break certain stuff up, but, uh, yeah, so, so that's, that's gonna be the new series, I'm, I'm gonna still try and do the, <coughs> sorry, uh, the wasteland grinding as well as the looting because hurrah, I do want to get dust shop and the only way I can really do that is with the wasteland grinding I mean I could try and kill another player and get on the top you know top player kill list I don't know if that counts as uh, if that counts for dust shop though because I Never had to look at the top player kill list because I haven't killed a single player in my entire Death Frontier career. So, uh, yeah, that's completely obsolete to me. But, uh, you know, I I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding to get on that fucking, on, the, on that dust shop. And I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna fucking sit it out through the weekend because the, the dust shop isn't until Monday. I still have, technically, after tonight, I have two days to grind out enough experience to get the dust shop. Now, with that being said, it's 20, right now, it's probably more, but it's, well, last time I checked, it was 20, roughly 25 million experience to get on the uh, list, which isn't that much, uh, considering it's just about three level ups for me 7 14 21 and then i you know i got a little bit more uh beforehand because i'm already at like five six million uh so it's not that much but it it it, it takes a fucking while and then you know i, I don't want to get killed in the fucking in the wasteland because of other people so uh Boy, I don't like these fucking dogs, man. They hit really weird. Uh, yeah, but 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 I want to get the I want to get the fucking dust shot. That's all I want. It doesn't even have anything really that great in it, uh, considering I have like, I mean, there's a there's guns in there that are better than the Scar Nine Thousand, and 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 I think, I think. And then there's, like, you know, the armor, which is really good. But uh, I could just reach level 220 and fucking call it a day. But, shit, by the time I reach level 2 fucking 20, I should have already gotten the dust shot. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I don't, man, do I really want to fucking grind it out in the wasteland for two days? I get four fucking level ups, uh, which is going to take a minute. It, I mean, it also depends on the event, because if the event is, like, plus 50% experience... Then the people fucking ahead of me are just gonna start flying, man. Uh, do they do 50 experience, or is it more than that? Is it like 100? I, I, I can't remember what the experience thing is. I guess it depends on what he decides to do. Uh, see, I because I always try to uh, to keep up with it. Like, like when it starts on Monday, I try to keep up with it but then I, I either forget to do it or I, I start recording other series uh, like this and uh, it, it totally takes away my time from doing that not that I'm complaining because I like doing this series um, but it just takes away time from doing that and, and when I'm not even gaining one fucking experience point, you know, the fucking person who was just behind me is now fucking 20, 20 fucking levels ahead of me. Uh, so it's hard, man. Hard to keep up, it, up in that shit. But I think I'm going to try to grind it out a little bit. Uh, and... Do I want to take that point for it? No, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try and grind it out a little bit. See if I can get there. If if I I, I, I don't want to get annoyed with the game. 
because like grinding in the wasteland, certain things happen that don't seem right, and then it takes forever to fucking you know get the experience and and whatnot. Um, but uh, I'm gonna try to grind it out, see if I can get the dust shot. Maybe I can. I hit you y'all with one of these. Isn't it? Wasn't this a meme a while ago? Like, wasn't that a meme? I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know what that was. Fucking stupid ass me. Oh shit. Uh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't even know how much experience I'm at currently. I think there's somewhere where I can check that, but I'm not sure. So, I'll see what I can do there. And if I get the dust shop, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to be making a fucking video on it. The first time I ever got the dust shop. I remember at one point, uh, I felt like I was supposed to have the dust shop, but I, I never got it. I was on the... Uh, I was on the top 100, and then I either got beat out. Well, first of all, pause on the whole beat out thing, or beat off anything like that. Pause on that. But um, I either got beat out before I woke up in the morning, or or I like I don't know what happened, but um, I definitely didn't get it, which is fine. It's fine. You know, I'm not. I'm not that concerned about it. It's not like I wanted it the entire time I played Dead Frontier through the numerous accounts that I've had and deleted. It's fine. I'll be all right. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna stick to up here though. I'm gonna see if there's any bosses around, and then we will uh, we will engage. I have ooh, you know what? I only have 440 bullets. Hmm. That might be a problem, folks. Folks. Uh, that might be a problem. Maybe I can, maybe I can scrounge up a little bit while I'm here. Uh, should I might have to sacrifice armor for weapons, y'all? I don't know. I don't know. Cause I can sell this flak jacket for eleven grand, and then I can buy the gun I want with the ammo. <clears throat> Let me see, let me see what we're gonna, oh, hold on, wait, right, 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 I leveled up. Uh, pistols? Or machine guns? Pistols? Or machine guns? Pistol, machine guns, well, first of all, let's go, uh, I have the flak jacket. I don't really know if I need to continue to upgrade my strength because of that. I think I'm actually going to start going critical hit, which is not something I normally do, but since I have the submachine guns, I think that would be a good idea. Let's see what message I got. Hello? Oh, my .38 handgun bullet sold for $450. Cool. Good to know. So my, my cheese is stacking a little bit. Uh, what is it right now, as a matter of fact? is 2503 bitch i thought that was a nine <laughs> okay let me uh let me pause and see what we're gonna do real quick okay so i don't know what happened but somehow my dumb ass managed to end the video again like i did the last time um but i was looking up guns and i think that's when it happened because i was looking at like the p90 and the nine is kind of close to my thing button but we have the MP5 here. Now, hear me out. It is better than the P90, slightly, but better than the P90. And I can sell the P90 for more money. And I already have fucking 4,000 bullets. So I think we are going to buy the MP5. Go ahead and equip it. Let's go ahead and equip it. Uh, go ahead and equip it. Uh, boom. Okay. So, and there is a boss. 
one right and one down. Let me just see if I can afford any 5.5 real quick. Let me just see real quick. Uh, first of all, how much is 9mm over here? Expensive, but I'll just go back to dog stock aid for that. That's fine. Or, 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 uh, or fucking nasty's hideout. So I'll buy this because it's a little bit of 5.5. Bring me up to almost 600 bullets. Oh man, I need 36,000 experience. Oh shit. And I'm running low on that money, boys. Okay. I believe the last video was like 38 minutes long. Or, well, not the last video, but the video I'm tagging on to this. I believe it was 38 minutes long, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit. Hope y'all couldn't see that logo. <coughs> <coughs> anyway. Because they ain't paying me, so I ain't showing their fucking logo. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so like I said, it's a little bit better than the P90. I think the P90 does about 2.8 damage per shot. <coughs> this does about 4. So if I could get my bearing a little bit on my throat, because <coughs> apparently I got a fucking frog caught in my... I got a toad caught in my throat, man. Alright. Are you coming with to the boss? Because I could use probably as much help as I can get. Now, I don't know what places are down here, but... Let's see, okay, so there's nobody here. And it doesn't look like there's really anywhere to fight this fucking thing. So it looks like we're going bare knuckle in the street. Uh, this is how it's going to have to go. And I already got one of these fucking things on me. Not happy about that. Uh, this could be it. This definitely could be my first hit right here. I'm not good with these dogs, uh, especially while getting chased by, you know, a hundred other fucking things. They distract me, they scare me, they startle me, you know? I'm not, I'm not the best with it. I should probably try to go in circles instead of attracting all of this attention from all these different areas. Now, I'm already at fucking 6%, so this is definitely good for experience. Yeah, you know what? Take them all out. Fuck it. I don't care. Uh, you know, some of them won't get stuck behind that fence, so I won't have to deal with so many at one time. It's not going to take me that long to kill this fucking thing, as long as I can get myself alone with it for a little while. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Out of all the fucking things that could have came, this fucking thing had to be one? Are you kidding me? I I'm telling you, I hate these fucking dogs, man. Their hitbox is weird, as well as their attack box. Really weird. I never understood it. Okay. We're, we're still doing good. We're still good. It's all good, man. We're still good. I believe I was level, what, 18 when we left? Something like that. I need 36,000 experience. 18 times 2, 36. I mean, that kind of makes somewhat of sense. 36,000 experience. Now, usually when I kill these things, one of those fucking flesh dogs shows up, and then... It winds up fucking me, but that's not gonna happen this time. I, I came prepared this fucking time. I got all the firepower. I have 5,000 fucking 9mm shots. Try me, bitch. Okay, please, 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 please. Ooh. A wall 500, you say, huh? Hmm. I wonder how much of that is worth. It's probably not worth that much. It's probably worth about maybe three grand. And that's through the marketplace. And then, you know, I have to wait for it to sell. But if it does sell, that could have definitely made my trip worth it. Because I used about 600, 5.5. But, you know, I had all kinds of different, you know, other, other things attacking me. So I got a little bit of experience. Yeah, man, go down there. Go ahead. It's uh, it's fun down there, dude. It's really fun down there. So I got all this stuff attacking me. Used about 600 bullets. Oh, God. Let's see how much it's worth. 
Watch it be worth like 800 bucks, and I'm just gonna fucking take a nosedive. I would have rather have gotten a sports armor at that point. Let's see. Because it's definitely not uh, as good as the other shotgun I have. Let's just see what I can scrap it for. It's probably maybe 900 bucks or so. I don't know. I've never found one. Like, oh no. Oh my god. What? 4,100 bucks? Damn, that's crazy. How much can you sell it for? Damn. Now, I'll put it on the motherfucking market right now. I'll give you a $2,000 discount right now. 6500 bucks. Wall 500. $2,000 discount. It don't get much better than that. FMP90. I can only sell that for about 1500 bucks here. So, I think I'm going to hold on to it. Because I, I think I could sell it for a lot more uh, at Nasty's Hideout. If I want to go back there. But, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, at 5.5. So if I get it for 6,500, that definitely made my trip worth it because I can buy more ammo than what I used. Hmm. And I didn't even have to really use any 5.5. So that's pretty good. I got experience out of that, and as long as that shotgun sells for 6,500, or even if I sell it for 4,100, it'll pretty much have made my trip worth it. So cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, and subscribe button, hit the share button. Definitely leave a comment, positive, negative, it doesn't bother me. I actually want to see some feedback. And if you enjoyed that much, no, I said I was going to do that one thing. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button, and subscribe button, hit the share button. Definitely leave a comment, positive. And... Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you guys enjoyed that much, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. And definitely leave a comment, positive, negative, it doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. Okay. So, if you guys enjoyed that much, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, I'm going to go like this, because it'll be easier for me, hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the share button, definitely leave a comment, positive, negative, it doesn't bother me, I just want to see some feedback. Uh, and if you enjoyed that much, and you don't want to miss any of this, or you don't want to miss anything that I might upload in the future, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications, so we're going to notify every time I upload a video, because you're not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.